Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer, as I usually am. Uh, this beer comes courtesy of Jim. Thank you so much, Jim. And uh, he gave me a bunch of beer, so uh, time to start cracking them open. Uh, this is a beer I've actually wanted to try for a while. I've had, well, let me talk about it a little bit. So this is Oddside Ale's Rye Hipster Brunch Stout, 11% ABV. Uh, it's a rye stout brewed with maple syrup aged in rye whiskey barrels with uh, coffee and bacon added. You know, bacon and beer. So probably like three or four years ago, I had some extra fresh heady topper and I put on Beer Advocate, one of the trade uh, sites there. I was like, um, you know, fresh heady, looking to try some barrel aged stouts I have not had before. And uh, someone's like, hey, have you ever had uh, hipster brunch? I'm like, no, I never even heard of it. So we did dollar for dollar. He sent me a four pack and it was like really good, really good. And um, then I heard they had this rye version and I was like, oh, that would be awesome to try. So finally, after however many, I got three or four years, I'm trying it. Uh, I hear it has a good level of rye, which I like. So I think for Jim, if I remember correctly, he said it was too much rye for him. Not that he hated it, but just that it was, you know, he would tone it down a little bit. Uh, let's see. Bacon and beer. So maybe a little bit of that salt pop. We'll see. It says to drink fresh. It's um, three months old. So pretty fresh. <coughs> Excuse me. Apparently this glass not particularly clean. About two fingers ahead. Uh, it's it's very dark brown. It's it's black in the middle, but it's not like motor oil. Um, what you're seeing looks a hair darker than what I'm seeing. I see more brown. You can kind of tell the brown down here. Um, that head is spot on mocha. Um, it, well, how tiny some of those bubbles are at the top. Uh, like here you guys can see like, it breaking up and stuff. But the top, there's some, it almost looks like it's on nitro. The bubbles are so tiny. But uh, most of it looks like the side. Looks like a stout. It's going to say aroma. Hard to tell what I get the most and also what I get first because it kind of a few things just burst at you at the same time. The actual wood from the barrel I get. Uh, definitely a roasty coffee vibe, not surprised there. Uh, maple, without a doubt, but not like just straight maple syrup, but like, oh yeah, there's maple in this. Um, it smells good. It smells good. Then behind that I get... Beyond the coffee roast, more of like a dark chocolate. Um, some nice vanilla comes through. There's a smoky element, which I'm going to imagine is mostly the malts, but maybe some of that bacon, uh, uh, or that bacon is bringing some of that smoke, I should say. But yeah, I mean, it smells pretty well as advertised. We see that head's going down, gone down about probably a finger since I've been talking. Some way it smells like a candy bar, probably because of that chocolate and like the vanilla that's working in there. Uh, a little bit of coconut. Yeah, it smells awesome. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. It's nice. Yeah, you get, definitely get more rye in the taste than I got in the aroma. Medium mouthfeel. It coats, but it's not, again, in from the color, too. It's not the biggest stout I've ever had. It's 11%. For 11%er, it might be a, it's probably like a little thinner than something like a, a 1050, which is 10.5. But uh, um, I wouldn't say it's overly thin or anything. I'd say it's medium mouthfeel, medium body. Um, the end is pretty bitter in terms of like somewhere in like the 75 percent um coffee 25 percent dark chocolate thing so yeah very dry nice bitter like that kind of not hot bitterness but um uh, chocolate coffee bitterness um yeah it's good until that finish i get some maple throughout the wood, some of that vanilla, and that's surprising. I didn't get a ton of coconut in the aroma, just a 
a little bit. I'm not really getting that a taste. I don't get specifically bacon. Um, got more smoke in the aroma than the taste. Oh, no. No, there is some smoke there. Yeah. It's working well with the other flavors. Like, it's not dominating. I've had a couple smoked beers where it's like, it's just smoke. Um, and this one, not that, it's also not hidden. It's just working well with those other flavors so it doesn't stand out but intertwines with them. Yeah, that... Not initial sip, but then it comes and then it goes pretty much throughout the finish. Well, until the finish, I should say, not through the finish. I could drink this fast, obviously. Yeah, it's a good beer. I think I prefer the regular. I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I agree with Jim on this one. But, yeah, super solid beer for sure. Um, it's got a lot of things I like in it. You know, I love coffee stouts. I love when they're aged in barrels, blah, 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 blah. Good beer for me. Uh, if you like this style, I would seek it out, sure. Um, it's not the best one I've ever had. Um, I've had a lot of really good ones the last couple of months, but, um, you know, so might be why I'm not as enthusiastic about this right now. Yeah, definitely solid beer. Good stuff. Good job, Odd Sides. Thanks again, Jim. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. No hype beer reviews in both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.